What's up, people of the internet? I'm Trevor, aka the T-Man, and welcome to another episode of Trevor Tries. This is the series where I try to complete an impossible task, and usually I succeed because I'm awesome. For those of you who don't know, my brother Terrence has been away at Good Boy Camp for like two years now but he's finally back home with his family. Anyway, things are kind of awkward around my house right now. My dad is only used to having one son, so now that there's two sons in the house, he doesn't really know how to handle it. So I figured as the older brother and the favorite son, I would try to bring my family closer together today. That's why on this episode of Trevor Tries, I'm gonna try to bond with my family. And to do that, I have a bunch of special things planned. I paid a lot of money to get front row seats at an opera. And then after that, we're gonna go to a fancy dinner. And then later on in the evening, we're gonna go see a movie. It's gonna be a great day and I know my dad and my brother are gonna love it. So let's get started right now. Challenge one, the opera. Hey dad. Hey Terrence. Go away Trevor, the football game's on. Yeah, I'm watching it too. I haven't seen a TV in years. Well, maybe you guys could record the game and watch it later. Cause I've got a pretty big day planned for us. <laughs> you planned a day for us, boy? I don't wanna go nowhere. I just wanna stay home. Me too. And why are you dressed in a suit? Are you gonna take us to an opera or something? <laughs> Could you imagine that, Dad? <laughs> that would be terrible. But Trevor wouldn't do that. He ain't that dumb. He knows that I hate singing. <laughs> Well, actually, and then what if we went to a fancy dinner afterwards? How terrible would that be? <laughs> oh, that would be the worst. I hate fancy dinners. Almost as much as I hate watching movies. Uh, well, go on, boy. Are we gonna do something or what? I'll be right back. Challenge one. Have a catch. All right, so uh, I figured maybe we could go outside and have a catch. <laughs> what happened to your goofy little suit? I took it off because I wanted to go outside and toss the football around with you guys. Why would we want to throw a football around when we can just stay inside and watch football? Because physical activity is super important. Right, Dad? <laughs> Dad! Yeah, right, whatever, I don't care. Come on, dudes, let's go outside and toss this pigskin around. <sighs> All right, but only because it's halftime. <laughs> Dad, come on! Oh, uh, sorry, I'll be right there. Okay, so I figured we could just toss the football around and say something nice to whoever we throw it to. Terrence, you got nice hair. This is weird. Come on, Terrence, you have to play. Fine. Dad, I'll never forgive you for leaving me at good boy camp for two years. Ugh, caught it. Terrence, that wasn't a compliment, dude. The rules are you have to say something nice about the person you throw it to. I ain't doing none of that sissy stuff. Compliments make people weak. I got a better idea. How about I throw this football and whoever catches it is my favorite son for five minutes. No, dad, that's the complete opposite of what I'm going for. I'm open, I'm open. Hey, no, I'm open, I'm open. <laughs> I love making those boys fight over me. I got it, dad. Oh. Nope, I got it. Way to go, Terrence. You're my favorite son for the next five minutes. Nice, <laughs> in your face, Trevor. Trevor. Get up off the ground, boy. Okay, enough throwing the dumb football. Let's go inside and play a game. Challenge two, charades. Now we're gonna play a game that's less physical and more mental. We're all gonna have to work together to figure this out. Trevor, can't we just watch the football game? We aren't watching the football game. We're playing charades. I'm gonna pull a card out of this bucket and whatever I pull, I have to act out, and you guys are gonna guess. Okay, this should be easy. Just make it quick, boy. I wanna go sit in my special chair. Okay, cool, I can do that. A worm, a wimpy boy, no. A worm, no. Spaghetti and meatballs, no. 
Lasagna? No! A worm! Stop guessing a worm, dude! It's a duck! I was being a duck! A duck? I did not see a duck at all. This was the bill, and I was flapping my wings and swimming in the water? You ain't very good at this game, boy. Well, if you think it's so easy, then why don't one of you try? Oh, I'll try. <laughs> oh, oh, I know this one. You're a lion. Boom, you got it. What? How did you get that so fast? He barely did anything. I'm his dad. I know what he's thinking. You're my dad too, and you didn't figure the duck one out. Well, you did it wrong. This is how you're supposed to do it. <sighs> All right, spider, bingo, you got it. Oh, come on, how's that possible? It was a spider, Trevor. It was like super obvious. I was trying to make it really easy, boy, and you still failed. I guess Terrence and I are just more connected than me and you. Okay, we're done playing this dumb game. How about we do something that all of us can enjoy? Challenge three, baking. Having a catch and doing charades only tore this family apart. Hopefully baking can bring us together. What the heck are we gonna be making, boy? I don't know how to cook anything. Me neither. At Good Boy Camp, I was only allowed to eat one lima bean every single day. And then if I got hungry, I would have to eat tree bark as a snack. That's disgusting. I figured we could bake a cake. A cake? Do I look like Chef Boy RD to you? I don't know how to make a cake. Relax, Dad, I've done it before. All we need are some eggs, some flour, and some butter and then some icing for the end. I wanna put the icing on. That's the only thing I know how to do. Well, we're gonna to work together on all of this, Terrence. First thing we gotta do is crack an egg and put it into a bowl. <laughs> Dad, what did you do that for? What? I cracked the egg just like you asked. I said crack the egg, not punch it. Stop your complaining. There, it's in the bowl. Now go on to the next step. Fine, I guess we'll just use the eggshell too. It'll be a really crunchy cake. Now we gotta add the flour. Oh, I got this. Terrence, that's way too much flour, dude. Well, you didn't tell me how much. That's your fault. Oh, whatever, we're supposed to be having fun, not arguing. I'll add the butter. Now all we gotta do is mix it. Does anyone want to do that? We ain't mixing nothing. That cake is fine as it is. Just put it in the oven so we can eat it. Dad, I really think we should mix this first. Put it in the oven, boy. That's an order. Okay. Now all we gotta do is wait 30 minutes. 30 minutes? I'm not waiting that long. I want to eat it now. We can't eat it now, Terrence. We gotta wait a little bit. But trust me, it's gonna be worth the wait. I hope. Well, I'm not waiting that long. Let's turn the oven up to 1,000 degrees. That'll make it cook quicker. Oh, now that's a good idea, Terrence. Terrence, no, that's a terrible idea. Boom, 1,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Now we should be eating cake in no time. Our house is on fire. I didn't realize turning the oven up would make it explode like that. And that's why we do not cook in this house. Are you mad at us, Dad? Yup, I'm pretty mad. I'm sorry, I just wanted us to bond as a family. But clearly I got a bit too carried away. Eh, we'll rebuild it exactly how it was. I'm just glad both you boys are all right. The final verdict. Oh my gosh. That might have been the nicest thing my dad has ever said to me. He has never shown one ounce of compassion in my entire existence. I guess even though today was an absolute disaster, we kind of did bond. My family is finally all happy and together again, except for my mom, but we don't talk about her. So I guess that answers the question that you've all been asking. There's no task that I can't accomplish. Thanks for watching everyone. Leave a like and comment down below what I should try next time on Trevor Tries. Peace out. I'm gonna go watch some football with my dad and my brother. 
in our yard because our house doesn't exist anymore. Bye-bye.